So this is going, this tutorial is going to teach you how to glaze the poppies. So these have been fired in the kiln and they're called bisque right now. The next stage that you need to do is to apply glaze. And what happens to the glaze when it goes into the hot kiln, it basically vitrifies, which means it turns into liquid glass. And that's what makes it shiny um, and bright when it fires. So you want to put on your first coat in all of the same direction. So try not to get the red. It looks pink now, but it will fire red. Try as hard as you can not to get it into the center of the poppy. So you want to paint all kind of outwards the first layer. Make sure you're getting inside of all the little cracks and details that have been molded on there. And just a thin layer for the first round would be perfect because you're going to do a second layer on top. If you do get a little bit on the centerpiece, you can scrape it off after, but it will save you time if you try not to get it on there when you do the first layer. One rule for when you're glazing these poppies is you don't want to get any glaze on the back. If you get glaze on the back of it, it's going to turn into glass in the kiln and stick to the kiln shelf, which is a very bad and expensive mistake to make. So if you do by mistake set it down on a piece, then you just get a piece of paper towel with water and wipe it off. Just got some in the middle, that's okay. We'll wipe that off after. Okay, so I've gone the first, the first run of paint, I went this way, so now your second coat of paint, you pick up where you, where you started, the first coat, and you go the opposite direction this way. This will just allow the particles and the glass to kind of bond and stick together more evenly and better. Once you finish your second coat on the petals, you're just going to do the edges of the petals too. You don't want to do ever anything on the bottom. Just the edges would be perfect. Anywhere where I'm getting fingerprints, I can go in when it's dry and just kind of fix those with a little more glaze. So I'm going to let that dry a little longer, and in the meantime, I'm going to start the center. So I got a smaller paintbrush. And because I'm painting black over, it should cover those little pieces there, but if you've got a fingernail, just try to scrape off any excess before you start with the black. And now, same thing, you just paint the center piece. And try to go one direction for the first coat. So the reason why I'm not giving everybody different colors of glaze to be more creative with this is because poppies are honored by the Legion and by veterans. They want them to look one certain way. And it's kind of like a flag. We don't make changes to the flag. We don't make changes to the poppies. It's kind of the same idea. So you want to honor them and respect each one. So we'll let that dry and we'll do one more coat. And if you did have a couple little mistakes on the edges, you just fix it up with a sharp tool. So you just go in and scrape it off. Just 
go in with a small brush and fix up those areas that you just scraped the glaze off. If you do make a big mistake and get lots of black on here, wet your paper towel and you can just scrub it off or you can just scrape it off with this. So rule of thumb, just remember, no glaze on the back. It's okay if it overlaps a tiny bit, but nothing on the large surface area there. And once you're finished with it, you just set it aside and start the next one.